Heyo YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So, last time we beat Misty, and we made our way here to this underground passage, which is leading to Vermilion City. So, uh, the normal way to go is apparently down through here, but uh, that's closed because the guy wants some tea. Yeah, that's literally what it is. And uh, we're going to have to go down through the underground path. So, uh, one thing I want to do before we start playing... Oh wait, oops. Um, we're gonna go to the Pokémon that we have out for a stroll. And just see uh, how, many, how many levels Oddish has gained. So we're gonna connect real quick. Uh, if it's like a billion levels, I'll probably cut it out this time just because it's like such a long process. But it shouldn't be because I've only been... I didn't even go to work or anything. I've literally just like gone out a couple times with this with me, so... Let's see what we get though. I hear... From what I've, like, heard, you get a lot of experience no matter what, really. So, we'll see. Okay, so Oddish was level 20 before. Okay, only 4,000. That's not, like, a ridiculous amount. Three levels, that's not a big deal. Like, I watched this video by... Uh, well, I won't say who by, but I watched this video from someone that was talking about how it's just such a ridiculous... Like, the, the Pokeball Plus is such a ridiculous peripheral because it makes the game so much easier. And I do understand what they're talking about, because it was way too easy to get my Mew up to level 25 or whatever it was. So, like, I could see where it would take some of the fun out. But, I don't think it's such a ridiculous amount that it, it really does remove the fun from the game. So, uh, let's, uh, let's just get on with the game, though. We'll talk about the Pokeball Plus some other time, maybe. Let's forget an old move and learn Mega Drain, because we don't need Absorb if we're going to have Mega Drain, obviously. Um... Yeah, literally, we do not. It's the exact same thing, only stronger. So we'll get rid of Absorb. And then we can get on with the game. Now we're going to be on our way to Vermilion City. And once we get there, we might have another gym leader to fight, possibly. Uh, Oddish is now level 23, which is a little bit closer to the other... Ooh, and Oddish is evolving. Nice. Didn't expect that. I haven't really done any research on if I need to keep these Pokemon from uh, leveling up at all, really. A lot of times when I'm playing Pokemon, I will actually hold off on evolving certain Pokemon for a couple of levels just to gain moves sooner, but I haven't done any research on that in this game. I'm pretty much playing it blind, uh, but now we have a Gloom, so Gloom's data is added to the Bokodex. Smells incredibly foul, however, around one out of a thousand people enjoy sniffing its nose-bending stink. That, I mean, that, that makes sense, you know? A lot of people like weird smells, so I could see that. Alright, so, it only called out to me one time, and I did reply to it or whatever. Um, I played with it a couple times, it looks like. Played 73, what? I don't think I played with it 73 times. 7 sounds about right. Uh, maybe it got like... Oh, I guess it, that just means it was playing at some point. I don't know, that's weird. We only walked 3,000 steps, which is a lot less than last time. Uh, Tough Candy XL. So, it's nice that you get all this stuff whenever you play. And we reached 20,000 steps, I guess, total. Okay, so we're going to continue playing with the Pokeball Plus, of course, because it is such an excellent... Uh, come on, connect. I really like the Pokeball Plus, though, so... I feel like this Let's Play is turning into, like, one giant, <laughs> like, infomercial for the Pokeball Plus, but I promise it's not. Okay, so, um, should I leave a Pokemon at the daycare? Like, I really thought about it in between, and I thought I sh I figured I probably should, because uh, I, I have no reason not to. So let's pick a Pokemon that we might want in our party later, maybe? Uh, even if we don't... Oh, wait, no, I forgot. Okay, one second. We have to actually go... That's the reason I didn't do it last time. Let's go to the Pokemon box. Let's add maybe... Maybe Magikarp. That would be a smart one to do, right? Like, yeah. Okay, so we're going to add Magikarp to the party temporarily. Um, it doesn't matter who we replace because we're going to bring them back into the party. Let's go ahead and leave Magikarp here. And hopefully Magikarp will level up some. I guess I could have just put Magikarp in the Pokeball whenever I left the game next time. But what's the fun in that? Let's just leave him at the daycare. He'll be in good hands. And maybe, oh my god, look at him just, like, flopping around over there. Um, guys, I think you should probably put him in water. He is a water Pokemon. I mean, he is a fish after all, right? So, um, maybe this isn't the most, um, the most 
child friendly, the most Pokemon friendly daycare, I guess I should say. Uh, <laughs> be sure to come back later after some time has passed. Okay, this is a little weird, guys. Um, I really think you should put him in a tank. Um, Alright, we're just gonna leave. I think they know what they're doing. They're accredited, so... Um, we'll just go ahead and go to Vermilion City, and hopefully our Magic Arp will still be alive when we get back. Although it doesn't seem like it's very hopeful. Alright, so, let's go talk to this dude, see if he has anything to say. When my Pokemon is on my shoulder, it will let me know when it's, uh, with its tail when there is an item on the ground nearby. Oh, so if you, like, if you choose Pikachu to be, or I guess Eevee, to be your Pokemon out for, like, the one that Mew is right now, where it just follows behind you, uh, I guess that, yeah, because, I mean, whenever I'm walking around, Mew will go and go up to a bush and tell me where there's an item. So I guess that's replaced by just its tail shaking. Dude, I totally remember this underground path whenever I was playing Generation 1. It was literally just like <laughs> a maybe like a, a five square radius, or not radius, a five square width whenever you're walking through it. Okay, let's keep going. That was an exaggeration, by the way. Oh, I like that this is red and blue. You see that? That's like a nod to red and blue, I'm sure. What else would it be, right? Here's another Pokeball. I need to reorient, reorient this ball in my hand. It keeps getting turned. Alright, so... Mew is freaking out because I can't decide which way I'm walking. Let's see what this lady's got to say. The lighting's not great in the underground path. People drop a lot of things down there, I hear. Oh, so that's what that was I was just picking up. Those were all just items people have dropped down there. I don't get it, even if it's like low light, how would you not see stuff that you drop, right? You would feel that. I don't know, maybe not. I guess if you drop like money or something, you wouldn't just feel that. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I totally remember this. Alright, let's go down to Vermilion City then. Got a super potion. I think we're going to be learning to surf soon, aren't we? I don't know, it's been such a long time. Oh, I guess we're going to fight this Pidgey real quick. I have no use for a Pidgey. Oh no, no, we're not we're not throwing great balls at it at the very least. Alright, let's run away. I want to catch some new Pokemon. We can focus on like chaining together like caught Pokemon later. Alright, did I heal? I really hope I healed. Let's put our one second, we gotta put our party back together. Not Pokedex. That is one thing I don't like about the Pokeball Plus, is it's a little bit too easy to push one way or the other before you click the joystick. It's almost like pushing R3 or L3 on a PS4 controller or, you know, whatever the equivalent is on Xbox. Uh, but, I don't know, it's just kind of hard to do sometimes. Okay, who was I putting back in the party? It was Beedrill, yeah. So Beedrill's going back in the party to replace the stupid Magikarp that we put in the, I mean, the amazing Magikarp, which will be something awesome later. Let's talk to these guys. What do you got to say? Oh, yeah, um, is this a double battle? Who's there? Quit listening in on us! No? Do I just have to fight them both separate? I'm really confused. Maybe if I'd walked in between them. Alright, Camper Ricky. Let's see what you got. Sandshrew? Oh, that's a joke, right? Come on, Mew. Like, that's just what I feel like now. I feel like every time I throw out Mew, it's just like, oh, you've got a... You've got a whatever, you've got a Moltres, that ain't nothing compared to my legendary mythic Mew. Like, sorry. It just, it doesn't compare. Alright. Let's do Swift. And I hear that Mew can learn literally any TM in the game, which means that completely changes us getting these different TMs. So, um, we'll have to keep an eye out for that for sure. I don't know what to teach Mew. But I hear that its moveset otherwise is not too, or it's, it's very lackluster, so hopefully we'll get some good TMs to take place of those. Alright, Camper Ricky, send out your Nidoran. Yeah, let's switch. We don't want to let Mew have all the fun. And we did just evolve Gloom, so let's, let's use Gloom. I'm planning on trying to study some of the type matchups soon, too, so that I'll be a little bit better at that. I mean, I know the obvious ones, but... Some of them that I feel like are not so obvious probably are pretty obvious to you all, so I should probably just learn them. Let's try Mega Drain. We did just learn that. Oh, yeah, it still did a lot of damage, actually. It's super effective, it said. Good. I wasn't sure about that. 
Alright, so let's do let's do a razor leaf this time. I don't think we need to use another Mega Drain. Although it would have killed us, I guess, so. Not very effective, but it killed it, so it doesn't even matter. Alright, Gloom. Who else? Oh, we beat Camper Ricky, okay. Two Great Balls, nice. I think that gives us like 32. Alright, let's fight this girl now, and then we'll maybe look for some new Pokemon. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Well then, why are you standing in the middle of a field talking about it? I don't know, I guess that would be a pretty good place to talk about a, or like a private conversation, right? Like, you're in the middle of a field. Not many people would be around. Oh, I get it. She has the other Nidoran. Uh -huh. How cute. I really wonder if you'd walked in the middle of them if it would have been a double battle. I'll never know now. I guess unless one of you tell me. And then she'll have another one too, right? What is the other one she'll have? I wasn't paying enough attention to the last one. Mew grew to level 26. Nice. Is Beedrill going to learn anything new? No? Okay, Jigglypuff, no. I don't remember what the other one was, to be honest, but uh, we'll send someone else out for Jigglypuff, I guess. Let's do Pikachu. Pikachu's only level 21, yeah. For some reason, I was thinking it was higher than that. That's okay. Alright, Nancy, send out your Jigglypuff. Nancy, that was the general manager of the first McDonald's I ever worked at. Well, the only McDonald's I ever worked at. It was my first job, though. Don't work there anymore, though. And I, I don't rec recommend any... Actually, you know what? I do recommend everyone work at McDonald's at least one time in their life. It's, it's a very eye-opening experience. Okay, uh, let's do a Thunderbolt. See how much damage that does. We are quite a bit more uh, leveled up than most of these Pokemon now. Alright, so that should be it. We should have defeated Nancy. Yeah, Picnic or Nancy. She gave us two Great Balls again, so we are up to like 34 now. Get away from all these Pokemon here. I do not want a Rattata or a Pidgey. Alright, what's this guy gonna fight with? He looks like a gentleman. <laughs> he literally said, I'll battle you like a gentleman as soon as I said that. Alright, Mr. Gentleman, what's... Gentleman Edward, at least his name is normal. Like, most of the names in this have been ridiculous. Oh, Eevee! I really want an Eevee! I hope I can catch one soon. At least I'll be able to evolve this one. If I were playing Let's Go Eevee, I wouldn't be able to evolve it. Oh, I don't want to kill Eevee! Oh my god, no! I don't like this. Yeah, get a good... yeah. There you go, Eevee. You got an attack in. That's what I'm talking about. You're the best, Eevee. See? You, you didn't die in one hit. I'm trying to make him feel better. I don't want him... See? Okay, he got a full restore. Cool. Okay, now I don't feel so bad, because I hate whenever people use full restores. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I feel pretty good about killing him, because that kind of made me mad. Alright, we'll do... let's do a pound this time. Use your quick attack. Alright, see, you, you put up a good fight, Eevee. I'm proud of you. You'll... Oh my god. That sound effect. Eevee's, like, voice is the most adorable... Oh my god, it's too cute. Too cute. Okay. Gentleman Edward has been defeated. Erg, super annoying and frustrating. Is that what he said? At 1,920 and... Oh, he only gives me Pokeballs? What's up with that? The kids are giving me great balls. Why are you gonna give me a Pokeball? God, really? Alright, guard spec, or guard special, whatever it is. Um, I'm tr really trying to look out for all these random Pidgeys and Rattatas and all these basic Pokemon. Alright, this is a sailor. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Oh, you know what? Actually, I don't think we do learn Surf soon. What it is, is we're about to get on the SSN. That's what it is, okay. We're challenged by Sailor Elijah. Sent out Tentacool. I think this is the first time we've seen a Tentacool. Alright, so let's, I guess, use a Swift. I think maybe I should start using uh, 
bloom whenever they throw out water Pokemon. Or, actually, Pikachu is the most obvious choice, isn't he? You would think that I would have realized that by now. The, the starter Pokemon that's electric would be the perfect thing against these water Pokemon. Someone, uh, someone commented and let me know that. Thank you, Dustin. <laughs> I don't think I ever would have realized it. I don't know, maybe eventually, but I felt really silly whenever you pointed that out because I completely forgot about that. Alright, Sailor Elijah is down for the count. And he's only giving me Pokeballs too. What is up with that? What is up with these people giving me Pokeballs? Alright, let's see. Um... Alright, nothing else around here. I was hoping maybe... Oh, there we go. Another item. Because I know we're right there at the city now. I totally recognize this little area. It looks just like Generation 1. I mean, not just like. It's obviously better graphics, but it really reminds me of it. This is so cool. Like, it's so much just... Oh, what? Is this a double battle? Me? Well, okay, I'll play. No? That's weird. I really thought that other kid would walk over. But this just really feels like it's... Like... Pokemon Remastered, like Generation 1 Remastered or something, and I guess that's what it is, but it's so cool to play this game. After, at, at being someone who played Generation 1 when it first came out. Charmander! Oh my god! I can't wait until we get our Charmander. We're gonna have to go back and talk to those people after we've caught like 50 Pokemon. We never really figured out how many we needed for Squirtle, but I know Charmander, like, well, if we got 50, we could get Charmander... And what else? There was... Was Bulbasaur the only other one? I was thinking maybe there was another one, but I think it was just Bulbasaur and uh, Charmander, maybe. And we saw the Squirtle, but uh, she said things just didn't work out. We saw the Squirtle, but uh, we didn't really figure out how many we needed to get it. We got two Great Balls. At least she gave me Great Balls, right? Let's see what this guy's gonna fight with. We have to fight every trainer, I'm sorry, but like, that's just all, the only option we have to make it through this game, which I guess, not really, because we could just take the Pokemon for a stroll every time we needed to level up, but that's no fun. We need to fight the trainers to try and get as much experience as we can, especially because I'm not, oh, it's a Bellsprout, cool, I don't think I've seen that yet, but especially because I'm not going out and catching a lot of multiples of the same Pokemon. Which is, I guess, what they intend for you to do to be able to level up more. I don't know. Alright, Bellsprout, you did. I kind of feel bad. I feel like Mew is just, like, killing everything in its path. Maybe I should make it a little bit more difficult and not just throw Mew out first. Alright, we got two great balls from this one. Nice. We should have close to 40 of them now, I think. Like, 38 or something? Alright. Here we are, we're in Vermilion City now. Oh, look, it's Squirtle. Okay, so she came here. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. How many? How about 60 Pokemon, really? Oh my god. Okay, so 60 and then. We need to catch... Si well, yeah, we need to catch at least 60 different Pokemon. Uh, let's go check the Pokedex and see how many we've caught. Okay, so I've obtained 24. I can get Bulbasaur at 30, so we'll... I think it would be better if I just went ahead and tried to get 60 and then go back and get all three of them. Instead of trying to catch, like, 30 go back, 50 go back, 60 come back. Uh, it'll just make more sense if I try and get 60, unless I can catch... I don't know, I'll, maybe in between, like, these part, this part and the next part, maybe I'll try and go and catch a bunch just off-screen and maybe keep track of which ones I've caught so I can tell you all, and then, I don't know, we'll see. I'll see what's the easiest to do. We need to talk to everyone in Vermilion City, though, because there's probably a couple of items, or maybe even Pokemon we can get. Oh my god, look, uh, Pikachu's tail is going through Mew, and it looks like it has a mohawk. That's, that's epic. That is everything. Okay. You know, you have a better chance of catching a Pokemon with a Great Ball than with a Pokeball. Even then, it's not a guaranteed catch, of course. Uh, thanks for the information. God. When the ring's color is green, it means that Pokemon is easy to catch, right? And when it's yellow, it's a bit harder. But when it's red, it becomes super hard. Alright, does this kid have anything to say? Uh, aim for the center when the ring is small. I hear that's the trick when throwing Pokeballs. Did he mean to rhyme? I don't know. We're gonna let it go this time. Okay. I uh, fed a Nana Berry to a wild Pokemon, and it seemed to calm the Pokemon down. It stopped jumping around, so I was aim uh, able to aim with my Pokeballs easily. 
Ah, so if a Pokemon is like jumping around a lot, we can use a Nanab Berry, I guess? That's cool. See, I like it, because it's like... They've added so many new features into the games that weren't there originally. Uh, if you're new to training Pokemon, you should give my place a little visit. It's an empty house, but I've rented it so people can use it as a place to gather and share tips. Is this it? Is that, like, what I just went in? That was... Why do you have that house just for that? Uh, did you see it? The SSN is in the harbor right now. Okay. If you say so. We'll go take a look at it later, though. Alright, I guess we should probably... Ooh, what's this? Oh, I was hoping I could catch it. Uh, go, go, go. A Machop is stomping the land flat. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Someone's, like, he's building something, so he's having his Machop stomp around. Yeah, this is all, this was all in Generation 1. It, this, it's crazy to me that I can remember some of this, too. Uh, this is my land, all of it. I own everything in this square area here. I'm having my Pokemon use Bulldoze to prepare, prepare the site so I can build something here. All right, cool. If you say so. What you got to say? Is there a gym here? I wonder. I can't remember. I don't think there is, though. I get so sweaty after doing sports that I end up feeling all grimy. Speaking of which, you know Grimer? It's born from ocean sludge. Not sweat, I guess. That's disgusting. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's go in the Pokes or the not the Poké Center, the Pokémart. Maybe we can buy some po or some great balls since everyone else just wants to give me Pokéballs at the end of battles. All right, let's buy. I don't know how many buy. How, uh, we could buy up to 53, but we don't quite need that many. Let's buy like. Let's buy 15. I think that's a good number to spend some money on. Yes, give me 15 of them. Is there anything else here that I should buy? Oh, we got one premier ball. I should have bought 20, I guess, because I could have gotten two premier balls. Oh well, whatever. Uh, per yeah, definitely some super potions. Let's buy. We have two already. Um, okay, we'll do five. That seems like a decent... That'll give me seven. That's enough. Okay, I'm th I think that's good. Hopefully we won't need to use them, but just in case... We got a couple of escape robes. I think we're good. Alright. Let's get out of here. I don't even think we need to, like, heal our Pokemon, so we could probably just go straight to the SSN. Uh, there are wicked people out there who use Pokemon to do awful things. Stealing other Pokemon, selling them for ridiculously high prices... It's eBay, right? Uh, and you want to know where those uh, these bad folks all gather? Team Rocket, that's where. No, it's eBay. Sorry. <laughs> I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. This is useless. Like you people are telling me nothing good. Just give me an item or don't talk to me. It's pretty much how I feel in real life too. Like give me things or don't even interact with me. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, let's talk to this gentleman. Or if this is the one we fought. I'm particularly fond of bird Pokemon. Me and my partner Ducks here are going to go to catch a Spearow soon. Are you now? That far-fetched is looks a little too serious. Alright, let's get out of here. There's uh what's his name from Street Fighter? <laughs> Which Pokemon do you prefer? The puppy Pokemon Growlithe or the Scratch Cat Pokemon Meowth? Oh uh, Growlithe, obviously. Ah, oh, you didn't have to answer. I knew the answer. Sorry, it was a stupid question. Yes, it was, and you should be ashamed of yourself. If you catch five of the pu puppy Pokemon Growlithe, I'll give you a great Pokemon. Ooh, you can ride on its back. Ooh. I've run into Growlithe, too. I don't know where. Where did I see that Growlithe? I'm gonna have to go back and catch more. Uh, some Pokemon ju don't just wa want to walk with you. Oh my god, what would happen if you put a Magikarp behind you? Oh, I can't wait. I have to do this at some point. Uh, some Pokemon don't just want to walk with you. Some would rather give their trainer a ride. I bet it would be pretty great to take a ride with a Pokemon that could swim across the water or fly through the air. Oh, uh, yeah, he's talking about surf and fly. Alright, so what is this? Would you look at my Pikachu's adorable tail? It's just like my Pikachu's tail. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? No, I'm sorry. I really don't want to hear. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything about your story. Our cha chairman is very unspoken when it comes to his opinions about Pokemon. Someone give me an item, come on. I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. 
It squeals Q when I hug it. Alright, yeah, this was useless. What was even the point of that? I guess to talk to the chairman, but... Or whatever the hell he is. Let's go in here. Did I already go in here? Yeah, this is where the far-fetched guy is, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, well, uh, there can't be many more places to go in Vermilion City. I think we've pretty much seen it all. Let's look over here. I know there's, like, another route somewhere over here. Vermilion Port. Oh, so, okay, so SSN's down there. What is it, buddy? Oh, you just like the flowers? That's, yeah, me too. They're cute. Mew is happily staring at the swaying flowers. Okay, so this is Route 11. There is some trainers over there, but we'll do that some other time. Diglett's Cave. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. I don't know where that leads necessarily. Can we look at the map? I want to see the map. Use this item. So, yeah, so we're about to get on the SS Anne, it looks like. I forget where it takes me. But over here, Route 12... I guess that leads up to Lavender Town. But I remember, I think you come into Lavender Town from the top. So, oh yeah, we just completely bypassed Saffron City too. Okay. I don't know. We'll see where uh, SSN takes us, if anywhere. I don't really remember. Let's go ahead and get on the SSN though. I'll check these last couple houses just to be safe, make sure there's no items. Uh, this thing here isn't for resting your feet on, you know. It's for tying up your boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Didn't really think about that. Okay. What's this tomboy got to say? I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron City in the month. In the, what? What? I don't care. Oh, look at that star you picture up there. Gee, I wish I could take a trip aboard the SSN. I could make new friends all over the world. Why is everyone so excited about the SSN? Like... Is this like the Titanic or something? Should we not be getting on this? Okay, let's check over here. Oh, hey! There is a gym! Yo, champ in the making! Beyond this point is the Vermilion City Gym. We will need to chop that tree down first. <laughs> what do you do to get home? Do you just, like, live at the gym? You don't know how to chop a tree? Hmm, well, as I recall, the captain of the SS Anne was an expert at chopping trees. Ah, okay. So we gotta get on the SSN, and we'll learn chop. Uh, I guess it's not cut. Uh, is it? What is it called in this? I'm really confused. It should just be called cut, but uh, we'll see. We'll learn cut soon. The SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion, Vermilion Port just once a year. Oh, I'm thinking maybe the SSN doesn't take us anywhere. We just go fight some people and then leave. <laughs> Welcome to the SSN. But not so fast. Do you have a ticket, young fellow? Young fellow? You flashed your SS ticket to the man. Yep, that'll do. Welcome aboard the SS Anne. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100th guest to join us aboard the SS Anne today. So here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. Oh, we got a sailor set from the crew member. Nice, so we can actually change our clothing too. That's really cool. I mean, the newer Pokemon games all have that, so I don't know why I'm surprised, but that is awesome. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if you could see that little island with the, the vehicle on it that was supposed to have Mew in it back in the originals? Ah, uh, so here we are, guys. We are on the SSN. Uh, here's YouTube. Oh, there you are, Red Chan. Thanks again for the ticket. This ship is huge, and it's full of trainers. Bonjour, if it isn't Red Chan and YouTube. Didn't think I'd be seeing you, the two of you here. Hey, Blue. Are you taking a cruise? Not hardly. Oh, I think I'm giving people the wrong voices. Who is Blue? Why have we not talked to him up until this point? Have we? I don't remember. I got invited to the exclusive party for trainers, but I'm pretty much done with this scene. Is Red in this game too? I really hope so. I got plenty of uh, party favors, too. Here, I can even share one with you. So we got a Shalor Sable from Blue. Put it in the medicine cabinet, or whatever. <laughs> medicine cabinet. More importantly, though, you want to know what I overheard at the party? You, you guys know about Team Rocket, right? They're the bad guys. Yep, there are all kinds of rumors going around, going around about the things they get up to. 
Anyway, the point is this. Team Rocket is a dangerous group, and they're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might do some digging into what it is they're really after, and you two'd better stay out of their path. So is he a good guy? Is blue and red both good? Are they separate people? I'm really confused. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe he's our rival. That would make sense, right? Did I name him blue? I'm, I'm really not sure now. <laughs> But he was wearing a blue jacket, too. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, Team Rocket, huh? Redchan, if you get tangled up with those jerks again, you should call me. Alright, if you say so. Thanks, YouTube. So, we're on the SSN. Um, I'm, as far as I know, this is probably going to be next episode because I remember there being just a lot to do once you get on here. Uh, it sounds like we're about to get cut finally, though, so we'll be able to get through to the Vermilion City Gym. Maybe go back and explore a couple of other places that we could use cut. Not really sure. We'll figure all that out later. Um, I guess that's really about it, though, guys. Uh, the only other thing I want to do, because I haven't shown you all me taking a Pokemon out for a stroll yet, so I'm going to set another Pokemon to take out for a stroll. I think I'm going to just do Pikachu this time, because Pikachu is kind of getting a little bit behind my other Pokemon. So, yeah, guys, we're going to send Pikachu. Uh, it's Is it my partner Pokemon? I guess... Yeah, cool. Okay, so we're sending Pikachu out for a stroll now, as you see. And, oh, did you, I don't know if you heard that, but he did his little cry. Uh, but yeah, guys, so I guess that'll be about it for this time. As you can see now, it's, uh, like, I think you can go ahead and go back and keep playing the game with, like, with the Pokemon in there. But I don't know if you can, like, battle with them or not. I'm not really going to mess around with that either. I'm just going to go ahead and end it here, maybe take Pokemon out for a little walk and get some experience points. And uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, guys, so make sure you tune in for Trading Card Tuesday. I've got something very special, and uh, if you are interested in seeing what up like future videos hold, make sure to follow me on Instagram at YTRedAlchemy. But uh, yeah, guys, that'll be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I release videos every day of the week, so hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notifications every time I upload. And next time, guys, we are going to explore the SSN, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Alright, that's it for now guys, thank you so much for watching and everyone have a great life.